Hello everyone, welcome to Aptly Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video session on daily news and editorial analysis dated 30th of October. Through this video session, I'll make you understand the important news and editorial from the Hindu and Indian Express. So this session will help all the aspirants who will be appearing for civil services examination, any state PCS or any other government examination that you'll be appearing for. So the entire session is going to be fruitful. For the aspirant of civil services examination, I expect all the aspirant, those who are watching this session, are putting their best possible efforts towards clearing the upcoming prelims examination. And not only prelims, you are also prepared with the mains and further part of the personality test, right? We are there to help you out at each and every stages of the civil services examination. So without any further doubt, you can reach out directly to us. So now I'll start the session. And before I start, I'll give you the highlight of the news that I'm going to discuss with you for today. For today, the first important news is about the Indian Railway revenue problem. This is from the text and context page of the Hindu. Second important news talks about the part of carbon emissions that the developed country is not meeting the desired target and it would be tough for them to achieve the overall target which is there. The third important news talks about the India and West Asia's new concern that is there and the Prime Minister has categorically speak to Egypt President to find out the resolutions. And the second last news talks about the hypertension you know, disparity which is there in the districts level. So district level make this as a disparity identify ki gai hai, hypertension ki cases mein, uske diagnostics mein, wo dekhenge ek study ki. And last we'll conclude this session and a brilliant editorial written by Sonia Gandhi and she talks about how the humanitarian crisis which is ongoing in the Israel and even in the Gaza Strip, specifically in the Gaza or Palestine region is again a concern for India. So we'll discuss this in detail. So let's get started with a detailed analysis of the news one by one. So first important news talks about the Indian railway revenue problem. So this particular news has been reported in the Hindu in the text and context page. And here I will discuss in detail CAG, that is the Comptroller and Auditor General. They have come up with the report in the parliament. And this was a report which was actually tabled in August 2023. And they have categorically said that the part of the railway which is losing out for the part of 68,269 crore rupees in all classes of passenger service. This is a time lag which has been taken for 2021 and 22. So this is a report which was scrutinized by the Comptroller and Auditor General. And the report is something which is concerning for the Government of India, specifically the Ministry of Railway. Now, if you look at the capital expenditure, if you talk about capital expenditure allocations, ki, so railway has received a significant increase in the expenditure since the merger of the railway budget with the main budget. Main budget ke saath railway budget ko merge kar di gai hai. And now only within the union budget, the railway budget is also presented by the union finance minister. Now, despite the operating ratio or operational ratio indicating the expenses, where revenue hasn't improved as such. Capital expenditure to improve, I mean, hui hai, but revenue ki part hai. in terms of revenue we have not gained much and a lower ratio signifies that the better profitability of the fund for the investment now looking at to the detail part agar baat kare passenger review system ke, or passenger review system is there where the revenue or reservation part where the actual things are generated in Indian railway agar Indian passengers ki baat kare, we calculated by PRS that is passenger reservation system so this is for 2021, the blue in color, and this is for 2022, right? Then we have non-passengers, coaching, other goods, and the sauntry part, right? And in terms of fleet revenue statics, this is for 2022, and the changes has been witnessed, 7.7% in the fleet loading. Now, traps of rising debts. As karke debts ki baat kare, karch ki baat kare, how it is increasing. Since Indian Railway continue to have a total lack of surplus, right? I mean, jitni funds hai, that is raising through the gross budgetary support, we call it GBS, right? And extra budgetary support. Why extra budgetary support? Because if the ministry is running out of fund, agar fund ki shortage hoti hai, to extra fund jo hai, wo extra budgetary supports ke through diye jate hai, concern ministry ko by the central government. 
Now the merger, the merging of the budget that helps to cover the GBS, that is the gross budgetary support, the central government could increase it without much scrutiny because whole soul here Ministry of Finance is actually allocation. So Ministry of Finance is taking care or allocations may bahut zyada problem bhi nahi hoti. Now debt repayment has now been up to 17% of the revenue from 10% in 2015-16. Jaha pe pehle 10% hua karti thi, it has taken a toll and now it has reached up to 17%. Now despite heavy investment in railway, why heavy investment? Because government has come up with triple P model, triple P is public private partnership. Uske saath saath hi anticipate ki gai thi ki economic growth hogi. It will create jobs and boost the tax revenues. Now moving ahead, identifying the problem. Agar baat kare Indian Railway ki fleet ki. So this is a segment which is profitable where the, the part of the passenger segment is taken into consideration and this has witnessed a huge loss. So this is a negative aspects for the Indian Railway. Or latest CAG ke report mein ye amount bhi highlight ki gai hai. That is 68,269 crore rupees in the passenger services. Annual growth in freed volumes ki baat kare for the Indian Railway. This is like 1% to 3% respectively for the, and the, where the economic growth of the country is close to 7%. So agar economic growth baat kare nation ki growth ke saath saath the Indian railways are not that parallel and even the performance is not that great as anticipated. Now Indian railway transport basket ki agar baat kare I mean for the entire vertical that Indian railway is operating with agar transport basket mein dekhe for 90% tonnage of the revenue that is coming from coal. I mean 90% of the revenue in freed come directly from the coal. Then we have 45% from iron, 45% coming out from iron and other coming from cement. 10% uh, like you know 45 iron and cement are around that, right? So although these are uh, the part of the three that still account for two thirds of the Indian railway freed volume. Now exempt containers ki baat kare, we have uh, for dedicated agencies, PSU hai, I mean, Container Corporation of India, you must be aware of this. So in K through between 10 to 18 percent is the part where we have seen the changes and now it is at 13 percent. So it was expected that there will be more rise, hogi, but it will not be the number increase in data. The private container that is operational for the railway policy since 2006, that has seen the railway boost in the part of movement, but again significant improvement here is not yet. Further, Indian Railway has constantly fluctuations dekha hai in terms of net 10 kilometers, that is NTKM, right, which have fell two successive years from 2015 to 16, where 4% to 5% precedent years pe growth dekhi gai. And moving ahead with other news, that is developed countries failing to meet 2030 carbon emissions goal. This is a finding or study that was published or actually was there brought in by the Council for Energy, Environment and Water. This is an Indian think tank that has brought some astonishing finding. It's a think tank, environment related think tank. You know, they revealed kya hai ki jo developed countries hai, which are held accountable for three-fourth three -fourth of the carbon emissions and ending up 38% more carbon in 2030 than their committed target, which is actually has to be executed by these developed countries in reducing the total emissions. But in ki jo efforts hai, wo us taraf nahi hai ki is target ko meet kar paayin 2030 So let's understand what are the finding and details. So looking at the net zero carbon emissions, before I proceed further, I would like to tell you if India ki net zero emissions targets, ki baat kare, we have set target for 2070. India categorically has said that we will achieve the net zero emissions target by 2070. And many nations have said that 2050, most of the nations has come up with 2050 as their target. Right Now, till the global warming, or uh, yeah, warming, 1.5 degrees Celsius ta ki target Kam karne ki baat ki, maintaining this target which was actually the part of Paris Climate Agreement. 43% below 2019 level is something there's by 2030. Now CWEW ne, CWEW ne apne study mein bataya hai that the current path suggests that 11% reduction is that by time. Now we need to substantially achieve more number and percentage but as per the developed countries and the target desired has not been achieved. Sirf kuch aise limited countries hai like Belarus and Norway, they are the only developed countries with on the path to meet the target by 2030. So sirf do country honge, jo achieve karenge, the first would be Belarus 
एंड अदर इज नॉर्वे राइट उसके बाद कोई और दूसरी कंट्री जो इसके क्लोज है दैट इंक्लूड जापान जापान इज द वन कंट्री एंड अदर वी हैव खजाकिस्तान विच विल बी क्लोज इन एक्सपेक्टिंग द टारगेट और ये सिंगल पॉइंट टारगेट अचीव कर सकते हैं बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी नाउ दिस इज द डेटा विच यू कैन फाइंड इन टू डेज द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर सो दिस टॉक्स अबाउट हाउ द मिनिमम टारगेट एंड द टारगेट दैट इज बींग मिस्ड बाय द कंट्रीज डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज आर प्रोजेक्टेड टू इमिट थर्टी एट परसेंट मोर कार्बन दैन ट्वेंटी थर्टी दैट दे हैव एक्चुअली कमिट सो इंस्टीड ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग इट इज अ पॉइंट दैट दे आर सब्सटैंशली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इन द पार्ट ऑफ ग्लोबल कार्बन इमिशंस राइट ना यू एस की अगर बात करें इन्होंने ट्वेंटी थर्टी कैंडिसी टारगेट में फिफ्टी परसेंट की बात की है एंड प्रोजेक्टेड रिडक्शन इज ओनली ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट ना दीज डेटा आर वाइटल यू कैन यूज दिस डायरेक्टली इन द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन ऑल्सो ना इफ यू टॉक अबाउट रशिया रशिया ने जो सेवेंटी परसेंट टारगेट्स दी हैं उसमें से फोर्टी एट परसेंट ही एक्चुअली प्रोजेक्टेड हैं जापान फोर्टी सिक्स परसेंट फोर्टी फाइव क्लोज टू दैट यू के नदर आईलैंड इज सिक्सटी एट एज फिफ्टी सिक्स कैनेडा फोर्टी द एक्चुअल प्रोजेक्शन फॉर ट्वेंटी थर्टी इज थर्टी यू इन फिफ्टी फाइव यहाँ पे फोर्टी फोर ऐसे डाई डेटा है दिस इज समथिंग एंड फॉर इंडिया प्रिसाइजली एज एव टोल्ड यू द नेट जीरो इमिशन टारगेट फॉर इंडिया स्टैंड आउट टू बी ए ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी Now, क्या फाइंडिंग्स है फॉर द काउंसिल फॉर एनर्जी एनवायरनमेंट एंड वाटर दे हैव स्पेसिफिकली सेट कि जो नेशनल डिटरमेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हैं दिस वाज द पार्ट ऑफ पेरिस क्लाइमेट एग्रीमेंट राइट 2015 में हर एक कंट्रीज को एक एनडीसी बनाने की बात की गई थी एंड इवन द फाइंडिंग इज सेट दैट द कंट्रीज आर इनसफिशियंटली मेंटेनिंग दैट टारगेट विच इज रिडक्शन ऑफ फोर्टी बिलो टू लेवल and the requirement of the temperature to be increased and to be maintained at 1.5 degrees celsius now currently jo developed countries hain they have combined their ndc only to achieve 33% of reduction so only 36% of reduction is evidentially witnessed in the part now to prevent the part of crossing over the climate threshold developed nation ko ye zaruri hai ki wo negotiation kare they should take a lead in the global greenhouse gas emissions khas kar ke greenhouse gas emissions mein they need to take a lead role and the legally binding emissions ke jo target hain usse bhi achieve karne ki target hai and this should be an adherence to the paris climate agreement now collectively the countries should have a reductions by 5% from 1990 level aur uske baad 2008 aur 2012 level ke hisab se they have to reduce by 18% during 2013 to 20 but again the anticipations the target that has been set has yet not been met नाउ इसके साथ साथ 28 एट कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टीज के बारे में भी आपको जानना जरूरी है द वेन्यू इज एट यू ए दिस टाइम दिस टाइप ऑफ न्यूज कैन बी रेलिवेंट फॉर मेनी अदर्स एग्जामिनेशन सो स्टडी हैव फाउंड दैट 28 एट कॉन्फ्रेंस जो हुई थी कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ पार्टी विच इज़ अ यू एन एफ सी प्रोग्राम यूनाइटेड नेशन फ्रेमवर्क कन्वेंशन ऑन क्लाइमेट चेंज यू एन एफ सी सी भी कहते हैं दिस वॉज हेल्ड इन दुबई एंड इट सेज दैट एटी सिक्स परसेंट ऑफ द ओवर शूट वॉज काउज बाय द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स रशिया और यूरोपियन यूनियन तो सबसे ज़्यादा जो कंट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं उसमें है यूएस अगेन कंट्रीब्यूटेड विद रशिया रशिया के बाद यूरोपियन यूनियन दीज टुगेदर अकाउंट फॉर क्लोज टू 83 परसेंट एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पार्ट इज एमिटेड बाय दिस कंट्री राइट आई राइट इट फॉर यू अगेन दिस इज एटी थ्री परसेंट नाउ एट कॉप कंट्रीज आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू अचीव द अकाउंट फॉर नेशनल रिटर्नमेंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन and their commitment in the un emissions cuts and moving ahead with other news that is the prime minister of india has spoken to egyptian president regarding the situation and the crisis that has emerged in the west asia specifically our concern is about the israel and gaza strip which is there in the palestine region and the humanitarian crisis that is coming out of the region right so isko lekar ke humanitarian situation ko kaise control kiya jaye उसको ध्यान में रखते हुए प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया हैज एक्चुअली स्पोकन टू द इजिप्टियन प्रेसिडेंट नाउ कॉल फॉर पीस एंड स्टेबिलिटी की बात की है बोथ कंट्रीज दैट इज इंडिया एंड इजिप्ट हैज अंडरस्टूड दैट देर इज अर्जेंट नीड टू रिस्टोर पीस एंड स्टेबिलिटी जो ह्यूमेटेरियन क्राइसिस एक्चुअली में है उसको रिजोल्व करने के लिए कुछ रिजोल्यूशन लेने की जरूरत है एंड द असिस्टेंस नीड टू बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द कंट्रीज वेर नो द ऑन गोइंग क्राइसिस विच इज देयर बिटवीन द इसराइल एंड हमास इसराइल और हमास के साथ जो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हो रही है उस पर जो नॉर्मल इंडिविजुअल है जो नॉर्मल सिटीजन है जो सिविलियन लाइफ्स हैं उनका काफ़ी ज़्यादा नुकसान हुआ है एंड ओवरऑल सिक्योरिटी रीजन्स में देखें तो 
तो सीरियसनेस इस मैटर में काफ़ी ज़्यादा बढ़ी है एंड इवन द एक्सलेशन इज़ ऑन द हायर साइड वेयर द सिविलियन लाइफ हैज़ बिन लॉस्ड मेनी चिल्ड्रेन मेनी फैमिलीज हैज़ बिन लूजिंग आउट देयर पेरेंट्स एज वेल नाउ इंडिया ने एबस्टेंड किया था रेजोल्यूशन में जो कि यू एन एस सी में एक्चुअल में पास हुई थी यू एन एस सी इंडिया वॉज फॉर्म ऑफ ओपिनियन दैट नेगोशिएशन इज द ओनली वे आउट और इस तरह की खास करके अगर बात करें जिस तरह से एक्शंस ली जा रही है उसकी कोई भी उसकी बेनिफिट नहीं है सो इंडिया एबस्टेंड फ्रॉम द यू एन एस सी रेजोल्यूशन एंड इंडिया स्कोर दैट टेरिज्म इज अ मिलेंसी एंड नो कंट्री शुड एक्चुअली अप्रिशिएट दिस पार्ट ऑफ द टेर The resolutions titled "Protection for Civilian and Upholding the Legal and Humanitarian Obligations" and I have told you that 121 countries have participated, meaning actual favor. 14 countries were against, 121 have actually favor. These were the country which has favor. And other countries were 14 countries were against, and 44 country has abstained. Or abstains can be made. India, with the other countries, that include Australia, Canada, Germany, Japan, Ukraine, and United Kingdom. इस वोटिंग से या फिर इस रेजोल्यूशन में एबस्टेंट किया मूविंग अहेड विद अ स्टडी विच वॉज देयर ऑन द हाइपर टेंशन दैट हैज फ्लैग कंसर्न विद रिगार्ड्स टू द केयर विच इज गिवन एट द डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल तो इंडिया में डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल पे किस तरह से ट्रीटमेंट दी जा रही है किस तरह से एक्चुअल में हाइपर टेंशन की डायग्नोस्टिक है इसके बारे में जामा नेटवर्क ने अमेरिकन मेडिकल एसोसिएशन के साथ स्टडीज की हैं और फ्लैग कंसर्न को रेज किया है राइट दे हैव एक्चुअली raise the concern regarding this as well now variations in the blood pressure diagnostic ki baat ki gayi the study has found that there is a substantial variations variations kahan pe hai variation is at the district level right so district level mein kafi zyada variations witness ki gayi hai and the researcher have noted that the mean hypertension is high no it's 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 high and the variation is at the height considerable at the district level now they have recommended that critical public health strategies required to have a targeted decentralized solution as district level district level mein agar baat kare this is the lowest level then we have state level and the national level the district level mein jo amenities ki zarurat hai wo actually unhe nahi mil pati the findings have showed that despite the health being this health subject health ki agar baat kare health ek aisi subject hai jo state government ke andar aati hai this is a subject under state but despite the autonomy uh, they are not performing well at the district level also तो अगर जरूरत पड़े तो सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट कैन मेक एन इंटरवेंशन टू दिस नाउ लुक एट द डेटा यू विल फाइंड सम ऑफ द डिटेल्स वेयर हाउ द परफॉर्मेंस इज सो फॉर हाई पार्ट ऑफ ब्लड शुगर दिस इज द रेड एंड कलर इज फॉर वुमेन द ब्लू एंड कलर इज फॉर मेन इट्स लाइक फोर पॉइंट टू टू फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स मेन्स में काफी ज्यादा है कंपेयर टू वुमेन and in terms of screening of the cancers which is also high uh, in, in terms of india specifically the breast cancer and how the things has changed this is the data which is there now these part of data can also help you to write when you are getting a question on the health related issues to aap is tarah ke questions mein actual mein kuch data bhi quote kar payenge now who ki kya report hai is concern mein who has said that 188.3 million people are suffering from hypertension this is the data which is specifically from india to so, india ke liye agar hypertension ki baat kare 188.3 million log aise hain jo ki abhi bhi hypertension se grasit hain 37% of have been diagnosed isme total 37% ko diagnostic hui hai and 30% has started treatment and only 15% managed to keep the blood pressure under control we have a lifestyle disease also जहाँ पे लाइफस्टाइल में चेंजेस की वजह से भी काफ़ी ज़्यादा हाइपरटेंशन की केसेस रिपोर्ट की गए एंड इट इज़ एस्टिमेटेड दैट 4.6 मिलियन डेथ इन इंडिया कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड इफ वी कंट्रोल द हाइपरटेंशन और इस कंडीशंस को अगर मेंटेन की जाए तो बहुत हद तक इंडिया में डेथ में रिडक्शंस देखी जा सकती है हाइपर के पेशेंट्स में ना मूविंग अहेड विद एडिटोरियल फॉर द डे अ वॉर वेयर ह्यूमेनिटी इज ऑन अ ट्रायल नाउ दिस इज रिटर्न बाय सोनिया गांधी he sees a chairperson of congress parliamentary committee and this editorial give you a brief idea about the crisis which is ongoing inhone apne party ki stand clear ki hai but we'll see a wholesome as what india's stand is india ne actually me unsc ke jo resolution hai usme abstain bhi kiya hai but we need to understand this way in a humanitarian perspective jahan pe ethics ke jaise sawal mein bhi aapko ye topic help So what I'll be discussing first we'll see the background then we'll have a 
indiscriminate destruction that is going the concern and the world must act this is a part of the conclusion or resolutions that will be seen now agar background ki baat kare where the thing has actually started so october 7 2023 was a day jo ki 50th anniversary mark ki gayi thi yom kippur war ki aur isi day pe hamas ne ek brutal attack launch kiya israel pe now the point to be noted agar inceptions ki baat kare agar starting ki baat kare so this war has not started by israel israel is not a country that has started the war it was actually provoked or israel to abhi apne retaliation mode pe the actual attack was there by hamas the kind the hamas group has said that we are taking a revenge but see if you are taking a revenge in a country wise it takes a loop and ultimately the people are the suffer the civilian are the suffer to isme israel mein kareeb 1000 log mare gaye mostly civilian the aur hamas group ne 200 se zyada israeli people ko actually kidnap bhi kiya this has created the worst situation where israel in retaliation has attacked or bahut sare situation wahan pe worst hue the unprecedented attack was devastating for israel the powerful israeli state is now focuses on exacting on the revenge ab israel revenge ke mode pe hai and they have said that they will completely destroy the hamas group the militant group which israel call as a militant palestine is a revivalist or revolutionist group bhi kehte hain now in discriminate destructions witness ki gayi hai between this war which is going between hamas or israel और जिस वजह से नेबरहुड में भी काफ़ी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम विटनेस की गई है फ़लस्तीन के जो पॉपुलेशन है उनमें ह्यूमिटेरियन क्राइसिस विटनेस की गई है जो मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज़ है दैट इज़ नॉट देयर दर इज लैक ऑफ वाटर फूड एंड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वाटर की अवेबिलिटी नहीं है वी डो नॉट हैव द फूड अवेबिलिटी विच इज़ देयर एंड इवन द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज़ मिसिंग दीज थिंग्स आर एक्चुअली प्रोवाइडेड बाई इसराइल इसराइल है जो इसे प्रोवाइड करती है और इसराइल ने इसे पूरी तरह से कट ऑफ की बात की द डिनाइल अमाउंट्स टू कलेक्टिव पनिशमेंट एक हमास ग्रुप की वजह से जो सफर है विच इज़ द नॉर्मल सिटीजन द सिविलियन सिटीजन ऑफ दैट कंट्री द प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ द फ्यूचर इज ऑमनिवर्स एंड डेफिनेटली अ प्रॉब्लम विच हैज क्रिएटेड बाय अ मिलिटेंट ग्रुप जिसकी वजह से जो नॉर्मल सिविलियन है उनको इसका खामियाजा भुगतना पड़ रहा है ना मूविंग अहेड विद कंसर्न द इसराइली गवर्नमेंट इज मेकिंग अ ग्रीवियस एर इन मेकिंग द एक्शन बिटवीन हमास एंड फिलिस्तीन अगर इनको इस ग्रुप को टारगेट करना था सबसे पहले वहाँ के जो लोकलाइट्स थे जो सिविलियन थे उनको वहाँ से वो एक प्लेस से दूसरे प्लेट में माइग्रेट करनी थी उनके लिए री इस्टेब्लिशमेंट कॉलोनीज बनानी चाहिए थी देन दे कैन हैव अ टाइम राइट नॉट इज डेट्रीमेंटल टू डिस्ट्रॉय हमास बिकॉज अनलिशिंग द इनडिस्क्रिमिनेट डेथ रिजल्ट अगेंस्ट एन ऑर्डिनरी पीपल ऑफ गाजा जो नॉर्मल सिटीजन है जिनका इससे कोई भी लेना देना नहीं है दे आर एक्चुअली द रियल सफर एंड देर इज नो पीस विदाउट जस्टिस so israel has actually made a blockade for the gaza strip 15 saal se israel ne blockade ki hui hai the israeli army is actually have overtaken the region aur is blockade ki wajah se jahan pe actual mein kai aise places nahi hai jahan se exit ki ja sake ise duniya ki sabse badi open air region bhi describe kiya gaya hai gaza is considered as a open air prison the largest open air prison in the world Now the world must act. This is a conclusion part. यहाँ पे बात की गई है कि हर एक countries को developed या developing countries हों उनको अपनी voice raise करनी होंगी with the suffering that the Gaza, the Palestine are going. Even we have a sympathy for Israel as well, but we are more concerned on the humanitarian part, right? Many Israeli people have lost their friends, family on the terror attack, which was actually by the Hamas. They have started, and now. the thing that actually started by hamas is paid off by normal citizen or the civilian people now palestini have acknowledged the violence and they said it will not lead to any more suffering and they are saying that self respect equality and dignity is the only way out or iske liye negotiation is the best resolution the loudest and most powerful voices should be have cessation of the military activity to so, military activity kisi bhi country ke liye kisi bhi moment ke liye solutions kabhi bhi nahi hai it is not a solution at all the only way out is to have a negotiation civilian ke life ko safe karna and even the militant group that is you know decremental do this part they should be severely punished and harsh that is the only way out aap civilian ke life ko kisi bhi tarah se destroy nahi kar sakte hain ek militant group ke liye action lene ke against right so this is how things need to be kept in the mind
And moving ahead with the answers and discussion for the yesterday question, that is for the Saturday question, I'll tell you the correct options and discussion of the particular answer. The first question, the correct option is B, that talks about the meteorites. The first statement is correct, that is typically the remnants of asteroid and comets. For second statement, it is correct that the comets are the cosmic bodies that is composed of dust, ice and volatile compounds. The third statement is also correct that cosmode can have either a short dick or a long orbital period. So check out for the correct option. Aapne kya mark kya hai? Most of you are not participating. I humbly request you to participate in the daily MCQs questions. For second question, the correct option is C. That is both options are correct. Mass queues are generally intense in the earthquake and much have the part in the active um, compared to Earth. Second statement is also correct that it was a mission which was launched by NASA in 2018. Today's MCQ for practice. The first question, it's about the hypophosphorus. It's a decremental impact on the person neurological system. It's ill individual is in, unable to gain the weight and the sickness has no known cure. So what you have to do? You have to participate. You have to write correct option. First, you have to question number. Then you have to write options whether A, B, C or D is correct. And you have to write that in the comment section down below. The video ke comment section hai. उसमें आप अपने करेक्ट आंसर को लिखें जिन एस्पिरेंट्स ने एक्चुअली में आंसर्स किया है मैंने उसके कमेंट्स को अपने वीडियो सेशन में हाईलाइट भी किया नाउ द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द ऑपरेशन चक्र 2 दैट इज द सेंट्रल ब्यूरो ऑफ इन्वेस्टिगेशन हैज इनिशिएटेड द गोल इज टू कम बैक द ट्रांसनेशनल साइबर फाइनेंशियल क्राइम इन इंडिया सो चेक आउट फॉर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन व्हिच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट वन एंड पार्टिसिपेट एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन डाउन बिलो दिस वाज ऑल अबाउट फॉर द डेली न्यूज़ एंड एडिटोरियल एनालिसिस followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, queries about the admissions, test series, programs, any other things, you can reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying connected.